Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, has given directives to double the number of cars offered in the Asturia TV quiz show, broadcast on Bahrain TV. His Highness Sheikh Nasser ordered to add six cars to the competition so that one car is drawn every two days, in line with His Highness's support for the great success achieved by the show in its second edition. He gave the directives while visiting the site of the production of the quiz show at the Bahrain Heritage Village, along with the chairman of the Inherited Sports Committee at the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Khalifa bin Abdullah Al Ghad. His Highness affirmed that the programme has achieved many of its goals set by the Inherited Sports Committee noting that it aims to increase the knowledge of the Bahraini, GCC and Arab societies of the rich history of Bahrain and the deep-rooted culture of its people. He indicated that the Asaria quiz show seeks primarily to foster the values of national unity and belonging to the homeland, stressing his directives to continue supporting such a successful programme, which has just been described as a bridge of communication between past, present and future generations. His Highness commended the efforts exerted by the crew of the successful TV show, paying tribute to the presenters Hassan Mohammed, Nala Janahi and artist Asalba Bucket for the outstanding efforts they are making. Sheikh Nasa also met the General Supervisor of Asaria TV Quiz Show, Isa al Matawa, and lauded the efforts in its ex ex exerting to ensure the continued success of the programme. For his part, the Minister of Information, Ali Ahmehi, praised the visit of His Highness Sheikh Nas to the filming location of Asaria programme, calling it a generous gesture. That reflects the support of His Highness to the media sector and his pivotal role in maintaining the cultural identity and promoting Bahraini heritage. Ahmehi expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his generous support to Asaria, presenting Bahrain television throughout Ramadan for the second year in partnership with the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs, popular heritage sports committees. He commended the support of His Highness in supporting the programme's message, which is to distill the values of patriotism and loyalty to the kingdom and its wise leadership, as well as its pride in Bahrain's rich history and cultural heritage. The Minister added that the praise of His Highness the success of the programme is highly appreciated by the cast of Asuria and the Ministry's employees. He added that the success is an incentive for the creators to produce more media contact and programmes within the Heritage Village, as its artistic potential, as well as the technology and architectural models of the most prominent monuments in the ancient life of Bahrain and the Arabian Gulf, in a virtual set in an area of 12,000 square metres in Ras Haya area in the Southern Governorate. Minister al affirmed that the village would be open to the public and that it will be prepared to host artistic and recreational activities to link the present with the past and acquaint young generations with the rich culture and heritage with an immediate plan to maintain the national heritage, culture and identity and promote Bahraini leadership in creating traditional programmes and drama. هي مسؤوليتنا وامانه في رقابنا ان نتوارث هذه الهويه اللي بنتنا احنا كبحرينيين ننظر الى تاريخنا وننظر الى انجازاتنا وننظر الى مجتمعنا البحرين هي حضاره قديمه استمرت لازيد من 7000 سنه 
وتطورت مع السنوات ولكن الهوية البحرينية في هذه العصور اللي مرت يعني واجب كبير لنا ان احنا نغرسها في قلوب واذهان يعني شبابنا وشاباتنا ونذكر فيها كل من مروا في هذا العمر فالهويه هي الركيزه الاساسيه اهتمامي الاول والاخير وهذا جزء قليل وجزء صغير من الترويج لها والله الحقيقه فكره بسيطه والطاقم قام بشغل جبار كلكم ما قصرتوا من مقدمين البرنامج من مخرجين من مفكرين من كل كل من هذا شوف هني اللي موجودين حولنا كلهم سر اساسي من نجاح هذا البرنامج اللي وصل عدد المشاركين اعداد كبيره عدد المشاهدين اعداد كبيره واعداد المستفيدين باعداد كبيره واليوم بعد الحمد لله يعني مكرم جلاله الملك لهم بزياده عدد السيارات في البرنامج الا انها يعني دعم اللي يعني للناس وهي هي في نفس الوقت ربحين ربح يعني تربحون من وراه وذم معلومات ترسخ في اذهانهم His Highness Sheikh Issa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited the French aircraft carrier Charles de Gaulle at the Khalifa bin Salman port on the occasion of the aircraft carrier's visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain. Upon arrival, His Highness was welcomed by the commander of the Charles de Gaulle carrier strike group, Admiral Marc Ozdat. During the visit, His Highness conveyed the best wishes of His Majesty King Hamad bin Issa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to President Emmanuel Macron. His Highness highlighted the strength of the bilateral relations and the importance of further cooperation across various sectors. He welcomed the French aircraft carrier and crew to the Kingdom and extended gratitude for their contributions alongside allies to safeguarding regional safety and stability. His Highness was then briefed by Admiral Ozdat on the mission and functions of the aircraft carrier in the region. His Highness Sheikh Issa bin Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the crowning cup of the Bahrain One team in the Bahrain Drag Racing Championship 2021 for the ProMod category, which concluded last Friday at Bahrain International Circuit. The award was presented by the CEO of the Bahrain International Circuit, Sheikh Salman bin Issa Al Khalifa. On this occasion, His Highness expressed pleasure on the victory of Team Bahrain One, noting that the achievement will motivate the team during its participation in the NHRA World Championship. His Highness noted that this achievement was made possible thanks to directives and patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Issa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to sports in the Kingdom. He also underscored the unlimited support, directives and patronage of the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Issa also praised the efforts of all team members of Bahrain One. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, chaired the 113th meeting of the GCC Financial and Economic Cooperation Committee, which convened remotely today. He welcomed the committee members and the Secretary General and the audience, expressing thanks and appreciation to the UAE for the projects and decisions made during its presidency of the previous session. He also thanked the GCC Secretariat General for its efforts. The meeting spotlighted issues on the agenda, which included the latest recommendations of the Committee of Monetary Institutions and Central Bank's Governors, the study on creating a unified definition of the National Gulf product, developing a draft unified Gulf rules of origin within the framework of the GCC Customs Union, and the G20 initiatives in the financial area. Discussions also focused on supporting mechanisms of implementing decisions pertaining to the joint financial and economic work, 
and following up on the progress of the GCC Economic Union programme. The committee also approved the recommendations and decisions of the relevant committees. The CEO of the Economic Development Board, the EDB, Khaled Ibrahim, affirmed at the government briefing that was organised by the National Communications Centre along with the EDB shows that the Kingdom continues to raise the capabilities of its economic development in line with Bahrain vision at 2030. He expressed optimism about the Kingdom's economic recovery thanks to the cooperation between the public and private sectors and the leadership of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Oman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, through attracting direct foreign investment and developing the vital economic sectors. The CEO affirmed the flexible nature of Bahrain's economy and said that the EDB continues to provide support for investors over the long term. The Bahrain Institute for Political Development announced the launch of the third version of the Political Awareness Programme, in which various academics and experts from various fields have participated. The announcement follows success of the first two editions, which were intended to raise awareness of the national circumstances and to further promote the sense of national belonging and constructive dialogue in line with the process of comprehensive development under the leadership of His Majesty the King. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 637,548 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 499,930 had taken the second. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 15,257 with 1,057 recoveries, 1,008 registered new cases and four deaths. 407 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 571 are contacts of active cases and 30 are travel related. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.